where do I begin this? Where do I begin this? I guess I'll start here. I was having a conversation with a friend not too long ago, and we were talking about politics, various things that were happening in the country. A civil conversation, which, you know, people should have. You know, like, like the friend said, you know, unfortunately in today's climate, it's hard to come by. But it's something that stood out to me as I was talking to the friend. They had said to me that things are crazy now, especially with the Democrats. It's hard to feel heard without the division, without the vilification that comes. And at this moment, the instinct is to say, you know, how dare you be a Republican supporting Trump, supporting his policies, all the particular things that went on that have transpired over the last four or five years. It's easy to go here. But I think the mistake that we make is that we forget this one crucial thing, you know, just this one simple thing that regardless of where a person stands with their political leanings, their ideologies, all human beings, depending on what country you come from, you're a citizen of that country. For this sake, we're all Americans. And I think that's lost because people get caught up in who's the majority, who's the minority, who's the candidate, who has the White House, who has the Senate, you know, who has the House, who has the Supreme Court. And we forget about the civility, if that makes any sense. A lot of civil unrest comes from that, regardless of what side you come from. People feeling unheard, people lashing out, people doing things, people being radicalized. And I think the problem that we have in this society is that we don't hear each other. We speak in echo chambers. We go to our tribes. We, we, we only want to hear the things that seem viable to us. And I think it's a mistake not to have the difficult conversations, not to talk to people who disagree with you or you may disagree with or may think differently or may come from the other side of the tracks. We don't learn. Your mind is not expanded that way. And what I try to do, even though it's not the most popular thing, is I try to hear people from all walks of life, regardless of their race, their creed, their color, their sex, their political leanings, you know, religious, whatever it is, economic backgrounds, whatever it is. I don't think we grow as people if we don't begin to see what's going on in a different section of life. I've learned so much from talking to people who don't look like me and don't think like me or may look like me but have different ideological point of views, different political leanings, different religious beliefs. You know, you don't grow as a person if you just stay in your narrow point of view. Well, I challenge you out there, whoever you are, white, black, gay, straight, Democrat, Republican, to begin to hear people that are different, to try to look at people and find the commonalities as opposed to highlight the differences. Maybe the real problem is that when we're supposed to talk to each other, when we're supposed to dialogue with each other, is that we'd rather leave each other in the dark.